All right, hey everybody. So welcome to another After Over Happy movie topic video. So for today's topic video, I wanted to talk about something that is really making me scratch my head. And it's really making me scratch my head because they didn't have to hide this. All right, so let me back up a little bit. So as many of us know, the film started being released overseas. And so, of course, that means that we're going to get spoilers. And one of the spoilers that, that came up that really had me scratching my head, and I even confirmed this with somebody who saw it, because I was like, there's no way. Like, there's no way. Like, why would they hide this from us? So apparently the film ends with a cliffhanger, and it ends with another to-be-continued with a whole bunch of stuff. Like, some people are actually listing off all the stuff that's not in the film, like, we don't see Hessa's parents. You know, there's even some stuff in the trailer that is not in the film. And it ends on a to-be-continued. Okay, so, look, splitting the final film into two parts is not an after thing. Like, it's not exclusive to after. Other films have done this. Um, uh, Twilight, The Hunger Games, Harry Potter, uh, Dune um, split their first book up into two films uh, with the second part coming out sometime next year. But see, with those, they made it very clear from day one that this is what they were doing. That they did not have the fans kind of like come in and then all of a sudden, you know, sucker punch them. You know, like, hey, you thought you were seeing the completed, you know, uh, adaptation. But like, nope, it is just, you know, part one. Like, no, like with uh, Twilight, Hunger Games, and Harry Potter, they even put part one in the title uh, for their final films. Um... With Dune, that kind of did, I mean, it did kind of sucker punch people a little bit because even after it was very clear that it was only part one, um, the marketing still only said, you know, Dune and it didn't actually, you know, put the part one. Um, but again, they did this special, you know, IMAX, you know, uh, show the first like 10, 15, 20 minutes plus like some behind the scenes features uh, that they that they did like a couple months before and so critics were able to get out in front of it and actually say hey by the way you know like when the title card comes up and like in the first you know five minutes it actually says dune part one so it was actually able to kind of get the news out there that hey this is not the completed film that they do actually say you know when the title card pops up in the first five minutes that it is dune part one they didn't do that for after and that for after ever happy and that is really my sticking point with this is that like look like one of the things that the fans have been really upset about especially when it comes to the spin-offs um like with before with the um the Hessa children you know spin-off like whatever they're planning with that um is that like we were pissed that Hero and Joe were not going to be involved and we were kind of you know mourning the fact that that After Ever Happy is going to be the last time that we're going to see Hero and Joe as Hessa and so if you had another film planned if you had a part two to After Ever Happy planned which means that we're going to get more content with Hero and Joe as Hessa then why not tell us just tell us the fans would have been excited. The fans would have been, you know, jumping up and down for joy. Except now, because we found out in the worst possible way possible, now I see on the timeline, like, a whole bunch of the fans, you know, bitching and moaning and complaining. And I'm bitching and moaning and complaining because it's like, this is yet another self-inflicted wound. And this is something that is driving me up a wall with this franchise, with this team, is that once again, all of these wounds are self-inflicted. Just talk to us. Just have transparency. The fans are on your side. The fans want to be on your side. The fans want to, you know, get more content. The fans, you know, want this. Just, just tell us. You did not need to hide this. You did not need to hide the fact that After Ever Happy is being split into two parts. The fans would have been... Well, we still would have called it a cash grab, but, you know, like, the fans would have been excited because that meant that we got a full another year of Hero and Joe. That now, Joe not being involved in the promo, like, it almost makes sense at this point. Because, like, she's so super busy with, um, with Gigi and Nate, and probably she is filming something, so, like, she wasn't able to be involved. So, like, now it almost makes sense. That she knew that, hey, I can do, like, all this other, you know, obligations and I can, you know, take care of all my other obligations and then come roaring back with a vengeance, you know, for part two. That makes it make sense a little bit more. But again, it is the self-inflicted wound of you not talking to us. 
every every wound that has happened in this franchise has been a self-inflicted wound has been because there's been zero transparency just talk to the fans just be honest with the fans just tell us the truth because i mean did you see the people you know like with twilight hunger games you know um harry potter like did you see them bitching and moaning and complaining that they were gonna get like you know two parts you know for the final film well sure some did but not everybody because again they were told from day one that hey by the way we're doing a cash grab we're doing a split the final book into two movies so yes just talk to us just tell us. That is my biggest issue with all of this. I'm not upset because we're getting a part two. I'm upset because, because there's zero transparency here. And I'm sure that a lot of fans would agree with me that the reason why we are pissed, the reason why we are upset is because there was zero transparency in any of this. That just tell us. Just talk to us. We are your fans. We are your... Um, your money spigots. I mean, like, we are your, you know, we are the, you know, the, the, you know, spitting out, vomiting out money to you guys. Like, we are your investors. Just talk to us. Like, that's not asking for much. That's not even asking, you know, for something that, you know, like, some people can look at me and say, like, you know, well, you guys are not entitled. Well, actually, I think we are. Because we are the ones who are actually giving you the money. We are the reason why you were able to do after we collided, after ever, after we fell, after ever happy, you know, if you are doing the spinoffs, like we are the reasons why you were able to do that because we showed up time and time again. And you know what? I don't know why we do, because again, like there, there is no, you know, there is no transparency. There should have been transparency here. And it just, again, it, 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 it again, it, I'm, I'm flashing back to the night that Castile was announced as director. Again, another self-inflicted wound. If you had just been honest with us from day one and, and announced her the right way, I'm sure that all the bullying, all the abuse that she got that night wouldn't have been, you know, wor worth a shit. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have happened. But because you decided to announce her in the worst possible way, you know, just like responding to, you know, like a random account on, you know, your tweet... Uh, on like another tweet that had nothing to do with the director, by the way. Um, but like somebody, you know, kind of said something and then like they responded like with the article and everything. Um, but yeah, again, another self-inflicted wound. And all of this just, again, it, this might be the theme of this video, self-inflicted wounds. That's what this is. Because you just need to have transparency. Just talk to us. That's all we ask. So jump down to the comment section below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. As always, remember, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go through all the stuff that you'll be able to find on this channel right now. So I'll be bringing you guys constant, constant, constant updates on After We Fell and After For Happy. You guys can be so updated that you'll be begging me to stop the updates. Because I was terminated for so long, there's still some stuff from After We Collided that I do have to catch up on, including topic videos, and those are coming sooner rather than later. As always, remember, this channel would not be able to go to the heights that it has without you guys, and so for that, I'm eternally grateful. You know, I know there are plenty of fans out there, old and new, who have no idea, absolutely no idea that this channel exists. So please keep sharing the channel. Please keep spreading the word of Charles's movie channel because this will easily be one of the best, not the best after series channels you'll find right here on YouTube or dare I say anywhere. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Keep liking, keep subscribing, keep sharing. My name is Charles. Welcome to the after series channel. I'll see you later. After fans, Joe fans, hero fans. Take care, y'all. Love you.